So we're solving exponential equations here, this time with base e. Uh, so an exponential equation might be uh, e to the 3x equals e. Now, a reminder that the letter e is actually a number. Uh, e is approximately 2.7 something something something. So just keep, bear that in mind. This is a number to the power of 3x equals a number. So it's not a variable. It's not like x or y. It is an actual number. It's like writing pi or something like that. Okay, now, now that I've written that one, we may as well solve it. Uh, if e to the power of 3x equals e, we could say that e to the 3x equals e to the 1, because e is just e to the 1. So I haven't changed anything there. Now, if e to the 3x equals e to the 1, then uh, 3x must equal 1. Uh, because we're just raising the same thing to a power, and they're equaling each other, so those powers must be the same. Get to do one of these therefores, and we can say that therefore 3x equals 1, and x equals 1 third. Alright, so there's your most basic how to solve uh, exponential equation. Of course, you can do much more difficult stuff than that. For example, something like this, e to the negative x plus 1 equals 1 on e to the 3. Now you really want to get it to look like that. Uh, by that I mean a base, the same base, on either side, and then we can sort of do this therefore thing. So I can rewrite that as e to the negative x plus 1 equals e to the negative 3. Now that it looks like that, I can just uh, do my little therefore, and I get negative x plus 1 equals negative 3, and shuffle shuffle, uh, x equals 1 plus 3, so x equals 4. All right, so uh, there is another example, slightly more complicated, but you really just want to get it to that. Once it looks like that, the game's pretty much over. Therefore, go, go, go. Um, more complicated. So e to the x equals 3, problem. We're not going to be able to come up with like a base and a base equal to each other um, because there's only one e there. So what we're going to do is use logs. So it might be a little while since you've done logs. So a reminder of the basic idea about logs. If I've got uh, a to the b is equal to m, which is what I have there, I could rewrite that in logarithmic form as log base a m equals b. It's just, this is a way of communicating that relationship in exponential form, a to the b equals m. This is another way of uh, communicating the same relationship, log base a m equals b. Really, we're saying a to the b equals m, and here we're saying a to the b equals m. It's just another way of communicating the same thing. So, if I were to write this in logarithmic form, it would be log base e uh, 3 equals x. Now, another way to write that, this is called natural log. So another way to write that is ln, uh, log natural, um, ln3 equals x. Grab your calculator, press the ln button, press the 3, and you'll know what x is. ln3 equals 1.098. That'll do. Uh, 099, because I've got to round up. Okay, so that's it. Just make sure that you know that relationship and you can move from exponential form to log form, natural log, boom. All right, let's do a real doozy here. e to the x minus 3, e to the negative x equals 2. Uh, this is going to end up doing some weird quadratic thing, and you've seen these sorts of questions before. Um, so I can write it as e to the x minus 3 over e to the x equals 2. Uh, and now it's not really clear what to do here, so you need to make a bit of a mental leap. If I multiply everything by e to the x, watch what happens. So e to the x times, I'll just do a little bit of a, a scribble here, e to the x times e to the x would be e to the uh, x plus x, which is e to the 2x. All right, so e to the 2x minus. Now, if I multiply 3 over e to the x by e to the x, they're going to cancel out, and I'm just going to have minus 3. And if I multiply 2 by e to the x, I don't need to do that. I'll just tell you that 2 times e to the x is 2 e to the x. Now, if I rearrange that to put everything on the left-hand side, 
I'll have e to the 2x minus 2e to the x minus 3 equals 0. Now, if you look here and we say something like let e to the x equal uh, the letter u, we can now write that as, um, so it's, this isn't e to the x, this is e to the 2x. So another way to write that would be uh, u squared. Now, if I let e to the x equal u, I've got minus 2u and minus 3 equals 0. So now I have a nice, neat little quadratic. u squared minus 2u minus 3 equals 0. Uh, now, you could solve that using a quadratic formula, using completing the square. I'm just going to factorize it because it's like a monic. Um, so I've got u, u. Um, it's going to be like 3 and 1 here. Uh, now, one of those will have to be negative. It's going to be that one. So u minus 3 or u plus 1 equals 0. Using my null factor law, I can say, therefore, u equals um, 3 or negative 1. Now, um, I think that's nearly it, but I don't want to know what u is. I want to know what x is. So now I can say, okay, I said u was e to the x, so therefore e to the x equals 3. And, well, I've already done that work there. So I can just kind of grab all that work, take that, cut and paste, boom, and I get x equals 1.099 equals x. So that's one solution. Now, if I try the other one, uh, so if I say e to the x equals negative 1, there's just no way for that to happen. So if I take a number, 2.7 something, and I raise it to any power at all, the answer is going to be positive. It doesn't matter whether I raise it to a negative power or a positive answer. The answer has to be greater than zero. Um, so I can write no solution um, because e to the x must be greater than zero. So my only answer to that quadratic, which um, I guess it looked like it was going to give us two answers for a very, very long time, is this. x equals 1.099. Well, from the very, very simple through uh, being able to push it into natural log and then being able to do this quadratic. Solving exponential equations with base e.